enjoying a day off. So the ball goes into play now to start the fifth chucker and off the back of the ruck. It's going to be um, Mark Tomlinson takes the ball forward now. Puts it up in the air. It'll drop down and he plays the half volley with it and drives it. And um, it's got it off the left of centre, but Harper coming through, plays the ball forward, but he's put a bit too much wood on that one. Looking for a bit more angle than that. So, but that's England on the attack, certainly, from the word go. And uh, that's what they need in this uh, fifth chucker now. They need to score a couple of goals. They're out of the game otherwise, and uh, all they can do now is attack. Forget all those defensive tactics. It's just now get possession of the ball, take it down to the goal, and try and bang it through. John Fisher plays a little shot, then hits an angled shot, gets to the 30-yard line, but it's nicely backed in there by, I think it was Ollie Cudmore, and backed in there by James Harper, but it's gone wide. So, well, Mark Tomlinson, I think it might have been, who took the backhand shot, but anyway, it didn't result in a goal, so it won't be recorded as anything other than a behind over the back line. John Fisher will come in now and... He just, he's being very, very cautious. Doesn't want to lose possession of this ball, but he's put it out to the sideline now. John Paul Clarkin is there. And his shot into a pony, out to the boards. Looks for the backhand shot from here. Manages to get it away from the traffic. Up to Donoso. Jose Donoso, and uh, unfortunately he's been, um, I think James Harper coming through there, his stick caught him on the arm, and that would have hurt. So he jumps off the horse and... <laughs> um, so we'll have a little break here while we check out... Um, well, it looks like the pain's going out up there. Well, you'll just see it coming through here. He goes down to play the shot. Um, well, Mark Tomlinson, it was, went, uh, swings the ball over and catches him either on the arm or just under the arm on the ribs. Um, and that certainly would have hurt. No, Jose didn't. No, so just getting off the horse. Umpire Cody Forsyth down there to, uh, to check him, but I think that stung him rather than really damaged him. And uh, now the pain's gone out of it. He's back in the saddle. He had a fall here in practice earlier on uh, during the week and um, thought he might have uh, done some damage. May have even broken a bone, but he didn't. And he... I think quite courageously came back on and played in that first game when he was still in a fair bit of pain and stiffness. Um, he's contributed a great deal to this game by being the man who they had to f get out of the way in front of goal. He's come through from the number two position to uh, pick up passes, particularly from John Fisher. And that's made a big difference in this game because it's forced the defensive pattern of the English to go very deep, knowing that Donosa comes through. He's a very, very accurate person up around the goal, so anyway, he's back on board, trying to get his breath back, I think. And the ball will be thrown in towards the sideline. It wasn't, certainly wasn't anything intentional in that. Mark Tomlinson had his eye on the ball, and uh, Jose Donoso um, was a bit close. Anyway, it's Ollie Cudmore plays the, no, James Byam actually, who plays the backhand shot up to James Harper. Harper will try and bring the angled shot in here, but it's going to go to the back line. And uh, no score results for England. And we're in the fifth and final chucker now. And it's Hong Kong, China leading England by seven goals to five with a little over five minutes left in the chucker. So this time John Paul Clarkin takes the hit in and he'll just try and push it around the corner. They haven't been able to get out of this, um, the back end of their own side, own half um, for quite some time. This is about their fourth hit in a row. But finally John Paul Clarkin lofts the ball up over the halfway line. Out comes Chris McKenzie, Ollie Cudmore. The number one's ride to the ball. Cudmore gets the better of it. Little backhand shot now. Picked up there by Tomlinson. Tomlinson up to James Byam. Byam on the near side. Will bring it up towards the halfway. Now he rolls it over the halfway. Back in defence there's John Fisher, but he can't come in on this. Byam shot. Trying to get it into the centre. Look for that scoring line. 
but it's going to be John Fisher covering for Hong Kong. He takes it out towards the sideline, up to McKenzie. McKenzie's pony stops it. In comes um, Tomlinson now, and the whistle has blown. So maybe the umpire saying when Mark Tomlinson there, you see him come around, taps the ball, brings it up in front, and saying that maybe there was a player on the old line of the ball. Not sure about that one, but anyway, the umpires have got their opinion. And uh, they are saying that it, Hong Kong China will get the free hit from the halfway line, penalty 5B. You can see when we uh, showed that replay, you saw, and I said the umpire's right on the line. And I think they said that that um, one of the Hong Kong players could have gone in onto that line but chose not to because suddenly there was a horse in front of him and that's an imminent collision. So that's um, Ollie Cudmore just to make a few adjustments to his gear out there on the sideline. So 7-5 England just not able to convert their penalties in this chucker. So this one, very hard to hit a goal straight off from a penalty 5B, centre field. But um, another goal to Hong Kong China here would make it a uh, tough um, task for England. If they can trap this ball and take it back, there's still four minutes left in this chucker. So there's plenty of time for them to get two goals. But another goal to Hong Kong here would make it difficult when they have to get three. Or if they had to get three. So, Ollie Cardmore's back on board. With probably a fresh horse, I think. And the penalty 5B will be taken by John Paul Clarkin for Hong Kong China. He goes back nice and deep, just cantering in now. Now, is he going to try and hit this hard? He does. Puts it high in the air. Drops it down about uh, 40 yards out now. Backed in there by Tomlinson. Tomlinson's shot is stopped by John Fisher. Fisher tries to cut the ball around. It's going up in front of goal. Nice backhand by Ollie Cudmore. And... Um, just a little tap shot by James Byme, puts it off the boards and it goes over the back line. That's not what they wanted. That allows Hong Kong China to line up um, only about 30 yards out from the back line on the corner there. But eventually out of the ruck, it's the number one, Ollie Cudmore, who clears the ball and beautifully hit over the halfway line there. Now look at Byme, has come out of the ruck. He and John Paul Clark and the two threes together. And Byme shot, straightens it up nicely. That's down where they can score, but Clarkin is the first one out there. His backhand shot takes it off the centre line. And on that slippery spot we've seen before, poor old Jose seeing a bit of the... Uh, um, so... We'll just... Uh, he... Wasn't expecting that at all. It's just a bit of a soft spot there. We've seen a couple of times, and this pony just again losing its feet in that soft spot, and luckily, and luckily, came down quite hard and and threw Jose well out of it because it rolled after it came down, and uh, and uh, Jose was not underneath it. So he um, he actually, by the time you leave the horse and hit the ground, you're almost on the ground anyway. So uh, it hardly even knocks the wind out of him. Look how quickly he's back on board. They're leading by seven goals to five. They're playing for the third prize here. And uh, he's not going to let a little cup, a couple of bangs in the ribs or falls to stop him putting his best effort forward to take Hong Kong China to the third place. And they'd have to be shortening a little in the odds now. Three minutes and 15 seconds left in the chucker. And the score is seven goals to five in favour of Hong Kong China.
So, just a horse going off the field there. I think it might be James Byme as said that his horse is getting a bit tired, so he'll call for a fresh one. And uh, so he'll hop aboard. But time's starting to run out just a little for England. So horsepower is going to be extremely important in this last three and a quarter minutes. Um, James Byrne making sure he's going to be mounted well enough for a horse that can put the effort in without him having to push too hard. So, the ball will be thrown in towards the sideline where the fall of Jose Donoso occurred. Umpire Daniel Badu just calling him to give him a bit of room. Don't crowd me. Now he's happy. Throws the ball in. Goes right through to the number threes. First one to it is James Byam. He takes it up in front of the goal. McKenzie's there, saving forehand by McKenzie. It's trapped by Cudmore now. He'll look for the near side backhand from there. Doesn't quite get hold of it. Picked up by John Fisher. Fisher's shot drives it up to the halfway line. Ollie Cudmore looks over his shoulder, backs it down along. And uh, hooked out of the... James Harper hooks John Paul Clarkin out of the play, but Clarkin pulls his stick away and hits it again anyway. Back there by Cudmore. Cudmore's shot covered by Donoso. Donoso looks to put it into the centre field. Hits Cudmore's pony, bounces it out of the sideline. They won't mind that so much because that means they've got to pull all the England players back into the line-out. And the throw-in will... Two and a half minutes left in the chucker. Cody Forsyth puts it in. John Paul Clark and pushes it down to the corner. Doesn't want that centre line. Doesn't want any opportunity for the England players to get it running up the centre. Picked up by James Vine. Now he's got to go right around the back with this. Long way to the goal from here. But he takes it across the um, Hong Kong China. Well, his, his own defending goal. And in goes John Fisher. Gives him a bump for his trouble. Turns the backhand around. And... Here goes Harper, plays the backhand. Not sure about that one. Or was it Tomlinson? Yeah, it was Mark Tomlinson because he's given possession to John Fisher and that's a dangerous thing to do in this game because he will turn it around and put it through the goal. And that's exactly what he does. So John Fisher just about, I think, has sealed the game now for... Here he goes. Look, you can do it either side. Near side, off side, whatever you like. Bang. He gets near the goal. He's playing the number four, which is normally the fullback, not the man who scores the goals. But he's coming right up into this game and left John Paul Clark and to cover the back and watch for James Byam coming through, and that's given him some great scoring opportunities. So we're back in play in centre field. It's picked up here by James Byam. Byam now... They've got uh, four goals to make up here to win this game. James Byme, there's a minute and four seconds left in the chucker. Here's the man, John Fisher. Backhand by Fisher, knocks it off the line. Turning up now is Tomlinson. Tomlinson goes for the backhand, puts it high in the air, drops it down in front of goal, and that one will go through. I think it was actually Chris McKenzie who <laughs> tried to knock it out of the way and it actually knocked it through the goal. So it was, you could call it an own goal, but that was desperate defence by him, and so... That uh, score goes back to just two the difference now. Eight goals to six in favour of Hong Kong China. And uh, Chris McKenzie uh, had enough. He could only try and, and curl that ball under his pony's feet. So anyway, he just saw it sitting on the line out of the ruck. Comes Ollie Cudmore now with the ball up to James Byam. Byam on the near side. Picked up, though, by Fisher. Fisher knocks it off the centre line. Two goals the difference. 13 seconds left in the chucker. Time might be running out for England. But here goes Harper with the backhand shot into centre field. Cudmore's there, but so is Jose Donoso. And Donoso knows what he's got to do. Drive it hard down the other end. In comes James Byrne. There goes the hooter. That's the end of the game. And congratulations, Hong Kong, China. Run out the winners of the playoffs for third and fourth by eight goals to six. And uh, that means that <coughs> we'll 
see one more game in this Super Nations Cup on Friday the 5th of October between USA and Argentina, old rivals. And uh, John Fisher there. Well, I think if you were awarding a man of the match, it would have to be him, just on goal scored. And uh, he had a very good game um, in the very close semi-final where they only lost by a penalty shootout. And he's had a cracker of a game here today. Um, of course, this is his home field now. John uh, permanently based here in, uh, in Tianjin at the Metropolitan Polo Club. So, um, so we'll take a little break now and we'll get back to you shortly with the Youth Super Nations Cup playoff between England and South Africa. 